The ever-increasing power of the church can be traced through the fifth century and with it the concomitant development of ecclesiastical art. Christian iconography reflected and kept pace with the important new role played by the church as an institution and center of power, and in this context it drew elements from imperial pictorial tradition. Thus, Christ was no longer portrayed only as a philosopher and teacher, but enthroned as a sovereign in a posture borrowed from imperial iconography. A wealth of ecclesiastical utensils, such as censers, chalices, and patens, were offered to churches by the faithful, collectively or individually. The richness and quality of their decoration reflected the financial status and aesthetic inclinations of the donors. This was also a time when pilgrims were traveling to important religious centers in the Holy Land and to places where monasticism was rapidly developing. This created a demand which led to the mass production of various souvenirs. Small vessels for myrrh or holy water, clay seals and icons which conveyed the blessing of the holy places to the faithful. 